with another video. We're going to be talking about a couple of stocks, as you can see in the title. The first one is AMC stock, ticker symbol AMC, AMC Entertainment Holdings. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. Now, as you guys know, AMC had that nice run up, right? I told you guys I'm expecting something like this at that. I used to have a buying level around 14, but then I did move it to 1320. You should have just left it at 14, to be honest with you. And then I was starting to see that push up, right? So starting to see that movement higher. Now, we do have some resistance levels that AMC could be going up to, which I'm going to leave there. That's that $16. I'm going to leave that there. I actually might want to move it a little higher, but for right now, I'm going to leave it at that $16 mark. We're starting to see some good pressure in AMC. As you can tell, nice pressure today. So I do like that. So with that being said, I'll go ahead and uh, give you guys a new level that I'm kind of looking out for. Right around $15. $15 $15 even actually I'm looking out for that buying pressure but just kind of be mindful because it is getting close to a resistance level around that $16 range or so so it's only about a 7% maybe 10% type of run we can get in there so what I'll be looking out for is I want to see if this happens right so I want to see if pressure comes in and I want to see if this resistance level actually acts as a support to send it higher if that happens then I think we'll be good to go for AMC to hit around $20, okay? And then that could be about, what, a 33 type of percent game. That's what I'm really kind of watching out for right now on AMC to see what really happens at that resistance. Because say we don't even enter at the 15 level, even if it goes up here and I, and I don't enter until $17, say I don't enter until $17, but I'm, I know for sure it's going up to about 20, I'll still get about an 18% gain, right? So I think right now in the market, I just want to be sure um, that something's going to go up and just so I don't get caught in any movement like this, right? I know probably a lot of people are sure it's going to go up. Then it had that heavy pull down. Just kind of want to be safe on that. And also, let's go over this penny stock. I haven't talked about this one in a while. I used to talk about it. Uh, Z-O-M for Zoom Medica Corporation. Ticker symbol Z-O-M. It's a penny stock. Just make sure you watch your risk management. But I feel like it could go to a couple higher prices, okay? Now, let me go ahead and draw the level out. Make sure you guys smash the like button. Subscribe if you are new. Let's get the channel over 100K subscribers. I know we can do it. Now, I'm going to put an exit at about um, 32 cents. So let's go ahead and put that right now. Also, make sure you join the team. First link in that description. First link in the description. If you want to get all my buys and sells, learn how to trade, all that key information, you can go ahead and uh, enter in early now. But official announcement will be tomorrow. But 32 cents is an exit that I'll be looking out for. Okay, let's go ahead and mark that out. And then buying level, uh, it's kind of like a support level two, I would say. So it's kind of like support and buying level in one. I would say right around 27, uh, yeah, right around 27 cents even. So right, it closed around 27.50. I actually want it at 25, I mean 27 even, okay? So we'll see how it kind of moves. It's literally at that price level now. So depending on what happens at opens, if it starts pulling down more or if it just starts to go up from open, kind of play it. Uh, let me see. Hold up. I'll kind of play it uh, as it opens. Let me change this to green right here. So 27 cents to about 32 cents. That's about entry to exit, about an 18% type of gain right there on that one. Okay. Next one. Redbox, okay, RDBX, Redbox Entertainment. Remember I was telling you guys Redbox was probably going to go down to $5. It did. Had one day update movement. I also told you guys that we want to make sure that that run was going to actually go up and it doesn't just die down afterwards because now look at what it's doing. It's just dying down, right? We had a couple scenarios. I'll go ahead and take it off. We were looking for this to hit. Let me take all this off. Okay, so RDBX right here. Now, like I said, just because it had that one day movement, Another day, a little small movement, it just died right back down, right? So you really have to take profit here or you'll kind of be losing right now. But now that we had a nice little upper movement, this buying level, I'm actually going to change it to that resistance level, okay? I'm actually going to change it. I'll just put it at $7. So let's turn this red, actually. And then let's turn this green. So these are the new levels that I'll be looking out for for Redbox. Notice that buying level is right where price is. That's why I went on and put it in this video. It's literally where price is now. So probably within that first hour, we should know if it's going to be that push up to go to at least $7. Let's check that profit. 
be about a 40% type of gain. So minimum, probably 20%. So even if I don't enter perfect at that $5 level and it like goes up, maybe if I enter like at $5.80, $5.70, still be able to get a nice profit in. Main levels, I'm kind of watching out for Redbox. And then if it doesn't show buying pressure at this level at $5 and it just starts to break down tomorrow, then I'll update you guys. Just let me know, remind me in the comment section down below. But I'll probably update you guys on that um, to give you guys some new levels on Redbox that I kind of be watching out for. Okay. Make sure you guys don't forget, go subscribe. Let's get the channel over 100K subscribers. I got two videos before this one. I got a video on GOVX right here, Mullen, TBLT, a lot of ones in that one. Then I have BBIG, Rev, Rev went crazy today, Charge Point, um, Bed, Bath, and Beyond, a lot of ones in that one. Okay. So remember, I'll be posting about three videos a day. All the extra videos will be to the Will Knowledge members. You can join first link in that description. But on YouTube channel, it'll be about three videos a day, okay? Then last one. Oh, actually, it's not the last one. We got, this is the second to last one. Next one is Wish. Now, I don't know if you guys remember or if you've been here that long. When we was having all those short squeezes and movements and stuff back here, I was playing Wish, right? I was playing Wish. Wish was actually doing very good, especially right here. It was doing very good, okay? Now, can that happen again? Yes, we just don't know, okay? But I like where Wish is right now, W-I-S-H. Now, it is on that down movement of trend, okay? So it does have a resistance level that I want to put on here first, about $1.70. And then the buying level is kind of where price is now. I'm going to put it at about $1.50, but it's kind of just like an area that I'll really be looking at, okay? So this is kind of the range that I'll be looking out for. And then on that dollar and on the dollar and seventy actually won't be a exit target. It's just a target of area where I'm looking for a resistance. Okay, so not necessarily looking to exit there. It's just somewhere I'm looking for some resistance. So a dollar fifty, I really want to exit at about two dollars. So a dollar fifty to a dollar seventy. It's still 12%, 13%, so I could take a little profit out there, but I really want it to go to about $2 for about a 32% gain. But until it starts moving, I'll probably update you guys. This is just some levels I see right now. It is penny stock. Just kind of make sure you watch that risk management. But the main ones I see right now, okay, I try to give you guys the best ones that I see that uh, are actually starting to see some movement on them. And then last one by high request is phase. Now, okay. So F-A-Z-E, you can see right there. Make sure you guys smash the like button and subscribe because I literally, this is my second time giving you guys levels on phase and it actually hit perfect, okay? Second time. Remember, I gave you guys the first levels. It went up, this one. I gave you guys levels again, did it again, okay? So I know you guys are profiting off of it, okay? Again, I financial advice, letting you guys know how I'm looking at, how I'm looking to play it. But look at that. We had a run up, right? So it already showed clear buying pressure off that buying level. Pull down. You guys know that's when I like to enter. Right there, ran all the way up to the exit. So play is done, right? Hit perfect. Make sure you guys get this video over 100 likes just for these levels in perfect. You can always click that super thanks also right next to that like button if you guys appreciate the videos. So now that the levels have been exhausted on, um, on phase, resistance level isn't clear anymore, okay? It's not clear anymore. I don't see any resistance above it. You gotta remember, it's only been on the market since July 12th. So all this above that $15 mark, the previous high, is all open game, right? It's all open, no really resistance in there. Buying level, there's no real buying level either, okay? There's no real buying level either. It's kind of at a, it's kind of at like a small little standstill. We need some more movement now to really know where a uh, phase wants to go. But for now, I will put a smaller support at about $13.50, okay? So tomorrow... If we get some more movement and you guys want to update on it, just let me know. I'll update you guys on it tomorrow. But right around that $13.50 area is where I'm looking at for support right now on phase. And that's pretty much it right now. Okay, unless it runs tomorrow, maybe you can scalp it or something. That'll probably be it. But thank you guys for watching the video. Always remember, no circumvention of ours. So anything, just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. I'll catch you guys in that next one.